I just got done grocery shopping and I did buy keto ingredients, vegan keto to be exact. If you're thinking about starting the vegan ketogenic diet and you don't know exactly what to get, well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what to buy at the grocery store and give you the exact list that I use when I go shopping for my vegan keto grocery items. and welcome back to my channel. I just got done grocery shopping and I did buy keto ingredients, vegan keto to be exact. And today I am going to be showing you guys exactly what I got and exactly what to eat on the vegan keto diet. I've been eating vegan keto for about a year now and I don't think I'm gonna come off of this diet. I love how healthy it is. In addition to that, it allows me to stay very fit and it also helped me lose 30 pounds. Today I'm going to be explaining what exactly is vegan keto. I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what to buy and the exact grocery items that you can go and get yourself at the store to start this diet. I didn't really have anyone to show me how to eat vegan keto. I kind of had to just figure it out myself. And in this video, my entire goal is to show you guys how to do it in a healthy way that isn't processed. So if you don't know who I am and you don't know my story, I lost over 130 pounds by doing keto, intermittent fasting, and exercise in a fasted state. I lost 100 pounds on the regular ketogenic diet in only four months. And then I transitioned into a vegan where I went on a second weight loss journey and I lost an additional 30 pounds in only three months and I do have videos on both of these two weight loss journeys and basically what I talk about on my channel mostly is the ketogenic diet the difference between the ketogenic diet and vegan keto are of course just animal products so when you are eating regular keto you're gonna be eating regular meat and you're gonna be eating dairy products when you are vegan and you are trying to do vegan keto the same rules still apply but instead of eating meat and dairy you are not going to be eating those things. Why is the keto diet so popular and what is the point of going on a ketogenic diet? The point of getting on a ketogenic diet is mainly for weight loss purposes or if you just want to get your health back, if you have been overeating too much on like sugary food and you feel really bloated or you're having a problem with your hormones, the keto diet will be a perfect thing for you to start. The purpose of the ketogenic diet is to put our body into a state of ketosis. Ketosis is our naturally fasted state I have many videos talking about intermittent fasting and fasting in general and how fasting is an entirely hormonal process and how it incorporates into our eating. When our body is in a ketogenic state, it feeds off of our fat for energy rather than food. And this is very beneficial because it is allowing us to get rid of excess buildup toxins that is inside of our body because fat is considered excess inflammation. We don't really need it. Our body is storing it unnecessarily. Ketosis was our main source of energy burning in the past. There is strict keto, lazy keto, dirty keto, and then of course vegan keto. But regardless, the macros of the ketogenic diet are high unsaturated fat, moderate protein, and low to almost zero carbs. The ketogenic diet can really work both ways, whether or not you want to eat meat or not. Even though I'm a vegan now, I still do talk about the ketogenic diet. It's because it did allow me to lose 100 pounds in only four months, and then on top of that, I went on another weight loss journey, still followed the ketogenic rules, and it allowed me to lose additional weight until this day i still eat in a ketogenic way i am just a vegan so now i'm going to show you guys exactly what to look for and what to buy on the vegan ketogenic diet so i'm going to be showing you guys exactly what i would get at the grocery store okay so my section over here are my fats your go-to fat items to cook with are going to be coconut milk specifically canned coconut milk we have coconut oil instead of regular oil i also if i am cooking i will be using avocado oil to kind of season my pan instead of using butter or any other regular oil i'm also going to be leaving a full keto list down below if you guys just want to go off of the list i am also going to explain each thing and why it is necessary for each category so your main source of high fats are going to be coming from nuts so if you want to use flour to cook with you're going to be using almond flour I also use almond coconut milk that's personally my favorite but if you don't like coconut you can also just use like cashew milk i understand it's hard for a lot of people to go vegan because they like eating cheese so I did find this cheese it's called almond cheese and it's from Trader Joe's it's perfect in regards to high unsaturated fat and is made from almonds of course and like I said that will be our main source of fat this would actually be the perfect 
perfect substitute for you if you are looking for a substitute for cheese. And on top of that, you would usually also get fat from dressing. So on the ketogenic diet, you can eat like ranch, any sauce that doesn't have any sugar in it. So I did get this vegan Caesar salad dressing. Any kind of condiment that doesn't have sugar in it and that you can use as like a dressing would be perfectly okay on the vegan keto diet. So this would be something I would usually use if I want dressing and that could also be your choice of fat. Whenever I have coffee or tea, of course I can't use heavy cream, I can't use milk anymore, I can't use half and half. So I use silk almond milk and then make sure it's unsweetened. We can't have any sugar on this diet so unsweetened almond milk or any type of unsweetened milk that you would want would be your way to go. And now we're going to move on to our next section here which is our moderate protein section and basically I just have some morning farm. I have Beyond the Beef aka Beyond Burger, Beyond Meat. These are just plant-based patties and they have 20 grams of protein each. Also have some Morning Star veggie grillers over here. My recommendation as the best choice of plant-based meat is Beyond the Meat, Beyond Burger, whatever. I call it Beyond Beef but whatever or i would use these and basically you would just make like a lettuce burger i do have videos on exactly what i ate in a day on the ketogenic diet but all you have to do is substitute regular ingredients for vegan ingredients so you can still make for instance a perfect ketogenic meal would be like bunless burgers <laughs> so the ketogenic diet is made of 20 percent protein and so on the regular ketogenic diet you would be eating red meat of course or pork which is acceptable but on the vegan keto diet we're gonna substitute regular meat for plant-based meat now that i'm a vegan i don't really crave meat like that anymore so if you are looking for a more natural way of getting your protein you could always use some plant protein but me personally Personally, the way I get my protein is protein powder. It has 20 grams of protein per serving that is the same serving size that this would have. And I usually just make protein shakes out of it and eat vegetables throughout the day instead of eating things like this. But I know if you are a beginner and you are transitioning onto the vegan ketogenic diet, you are of course going to crave like milk and dairy and stuff like that. So of course these would be a good alternative. But if you are someone like me, you can either eat protein powder or you can find just natural plant protein, but that is a little bit harder to find. And last but not least, of course, we have our 5% carbs. Now carbs on the ketogenic diet are non-starchy vegetables. So there is no rice, there is no beans, there is no none of that on this diet. It's just non-starchy vegetables. So AKA lettuce and spinach, cucumbers and broccoli and cauliflower. I believe you can eat vegetables like carrots because you are eating such lower amount of carbs within this diet. We are not eating any Anything processed and if you are not new to keto you would know that there is absolutely no sugar on this diet but in some exceptions because it is vegan it is very healthy and whole food and very low calorie and low carb you can have a little bit more sugar than you would on the usual ketogenic diet have dark chocolate dark chocolate is actually perfect for you to eat and as you can see on the packages it's 45 percent cacao the more cacao the better and it's no sugar added and it has two grams of net carbs if you really want a treat or a snack on the ketogenic diet dark chocolate like this would be the way to go and I did get this from Trader Joe's. When you are on the vegan ketogenic diet or any ketogenic diet, you are going to want an intermittent fast. It's almost impossible to lose weight on keto without intermittent fasting. Personally, on my weight loss journeys, I ate one meal a day. Even until this day, I still eat only one meal a day every single day. And in one of my next videos, I am going to be showing you guys exactly what to eat and exactly what I eat in a day on the vegan ketogenic diet. You don't have to eat three meals a day. The vegan keto diet Diet is actually really nutritional because all you're eating is plants and if you are interested in my vegan lifestyle go ahead and check out my second YouTube channel I believe the keto diet is great because it gets you off of sugar fruit and sugar and regular sugar are different things just because of the processed nature in them so when I went on the keto diet my hormones started regulating I felt a lot better that I was on it I didn't have that sluggishness that sugar was giving me and I lost 100 pounds on the keto diet. I never cheated, not one time. And when I started going back to eating regular, I realized that I liked staying away from processed foods. I realized that I liked being disciplined and I liked fasting and I liked giving my body a break. I didn't feel tired all the time. I didn't feel hungry all the time. It was just this new type of life that I got. That channel is dedicated solely to veganism. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.